Hello there, it's just me, your old buddy Grizzly Jim, and today I just want to take a real quick look at the differences between the Bear Super Grizzly and the Bear Grizzly. I think it's probably safe to say that one of the most popular traditional bows out there is the Bear Grizzly. I mean, it's been going for such a long time. Originally came out in 1950, um, and then in about the mid 60s, it had a slight design change. And from that point on, it's, it's been pretty much the same bow ever since. Uh, so it's been going for years and years and years. It's hugely popular. You see it everywhere. Some people are obsessed with these things. There are people that collect uh, specifically bear grizzlies because they, they've got such a big following and I can see why they are a great bow they're a really sort of um, re really well price pointed they're you know they're not too expensive they're a good entry-level bow to get people into the sport of traditional archery so you know also um, I'm a bit of a bear fanboy Fred Bear is one of my heroes um, when it comes to archery and I just kind of love the, the heritage of, of bear archery and that and I've, I've owned a number of bear bare bows over the years. But I do get asked a question a lot when people are looking at getting their first bow and they do look at the grizzly. They're like, well, there's the super grizzly and there's a the grizzly, what, what's the real difference? So I just wanted to make a quick little video explaining the differences between the two. Um, like I say, we'll start with the, the grizzly itself, the, uh, the granddaddy of, uh, of them all. It's a 58 inch bow. Uh, comes in, I think it comes in like five pound increments from 30 all the way up to about 55 if memory serves me correctly. And I say it's a, it's a 58 inch recurve. It's cut to center. Um, it does everything you want from a bow. Its construction is, I believe it's, it's a maple construction. Different woods have been used over the years, but primarily I think they're using maple now. Now, the most notable thing with the uh, Grizzly, or the original Grizzly, is that it's one of only a couple of bows from the Bear Archery catalog that require you to use a Dacron string. That's because the limb tips um, aren't reinforced. They're, um, I mean, they're, they're, there's fiberglass on the limb tips, but it's not heavily reinforced. So you're not gonna be able to use a, a hard performance string on there. You're gonna need to keep it simple, keep it soft with a, with a Dacron which, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. The Dacron gives you a, a softer, slightly more forgiving shot, uh, but you're gonna find you're gonna need to uh, change the brace, like increase the brace height every now and again, as Dacron does have a tendency to stretch. Um, but it is just a very simple, it's a workhorse of a bow. Um, there is only one um, sort of layer of, uh, of, of limb material, one lamination in there, if you will. Uh, you can see it comes, to, if you look on the riser section here, uh, it comes down and then sort of goes onto, the, onto, the, onto this side of the bow here. Uh, normally there'd be two and it would split into two and go either side of the riser section on that wedge, but the Bear Grizzly only has one. So that's something to bear in mind but that's not gonna affect the performance. That's just the way it is. That's the way it has been. Um, like I say, it's a workhorse of a bow. It does the job. It's really simple. It's designed to do one thing incredibly well and it, and it does it well. So that's the, um, that's the Grizzly. Moving on now to the uh, Super Grizzly, which uh, I believe was developed in the 70s. Um, so a bit, you know, came a little bit after the redesign of the, the Grizzly. And I think they wanted to do something that was a little bit more high, high end, a little bit more high performing. So what they did, uh, they increased the, the uh, reinforcement on the limb tip, giving you a much more reinforced limb tip there, meaning it can take a higher performance string. Now the Super Grizzly does come with a D97. Um, the other notable difference is there are two uh, laminations in the in the limb. I believe I believe it's a maple limb as well. Uh, and as you can see, that comes down and splits into two and goes either side of the riser, but more like a two, like like a conventional trad bow. You've got the two layers in there, so you've got a, a slightly better performing limb, uh, possibly slightly more stable. It's definitely going to be a little bit more consistent because the, the it's got a higher performing string on there. Um, so it's it's overall the stability and performance is going to be slightly better. You've also got a, a nice decorative uh, stripe running down the riser, 
giving it a little bit more of an aesthetically pleasing look. Um, you've also, the thing I, I quite like about it is, is you've got the, because you've got that sort of uh, extra lamination coming down, that, that goes the full length of the riser. So you get a little bit of a two-tone, um, just a little bit more of a contrast on that black fiberglass at the front. But to all intents and purposes, they are very similar bows. They are exactly the same shape. They come from the same former. Um, there's just a little bit more in the Super Grizzly. It's a slight upgrade. Um, it's gonna give you a little bit more performance. But other than that, they are the same bow. They, they do have a different price range. Um, anything in the region of about 50 pounds upwards, depending on on when you buy them and when they're available and, and whatnot. But I will put both bows uh, in the description down there so you can have a little look uh, and compare them for yourself. Is the extra features of the Super Grizzly worth the extra 50, 60, 70 quid? That's up to you. If you think it is, then it is, it totally is. Uh, I know people that can shoot the, the, the classic Grizzly phenomenally well. I know people that, that can shoot the Super Grizzly phenomenally well. It, it, at the end of the day, you've got to shoot what makes you happy. And if you're more comfortable with the, the slightly upgraded features of the Super Grizzly, then go for it because you will you will do so much better with it. You'll feel better with it. You'll, you know, you'll feel good, you'll shoot good. Um, so yeah, I'll put those in the description down there so you can have a look. I'll also put up there a video I did a number of years ago um, on the Grizzly itself. Um, I did a full review on that a few years back, so I'll put that up there so you can have a little look at that. But yeah, that is just um, the differences between the, the, the Grizzly and the Super Grizzly. Not a huge lot, uh, a difference, but at the end of the day, you've got to shoot what makes you happy. And if one of those makes you happy, then great. But uh, yeah, I hope you found that useful. But anyway, you take care, shoot straight, and I'll see you on the internet. Bye-bye.